it is not just about classroom teaching that Vivekananda Institute of Professional Studies has been all about. It's all about being true mentors to you, my dear students. Differences that we have amongst us in the larger society is leading to a lot of ethnocentrism, and this is what is leading to hatred, and that is why the society is where it is today. And it is on each one of us, and more so on you, my dear friends, that we need to own up, to have a fresh look in the society, fresh participation. Uh, with these words, I would now like to invite our chairman to speak a few words, which would then be followed by a little bit of prasad on this day of celebration, which definitely can never be without each one of you. Chairman, sir, please. Raised by 
one of Swamiji's disciples, Captain Savior, and Mother Savior, both raised a shrine which preaches form of God. Advaitism means no dualism. The God and I are not two different beings. The oneness of God, the unity of thought. And Swamiji said, no, I don't worship the way there. Only books, which only those scriptures which carry a profound wisdom shall be preserved there. And as I observed during my stay at Mayavati in Marias, we had the morning breakfast, very lovingly served to us by the monks, afternoon lunch, lunch, very delicious lunch, all prepared by monks. Evening dinner, and after the evening dinner, half an hour will be devoted to celebrating. <coughs> One of the junior most monks will put up one question or what kind of devotee staying out there in the outhouses. will ask one question a day from the senior most monk who will give a solution to any little that one post. If I post him a problem, he could give me an exact solution as to how to resolve this intricate problem. Simple solutions for difficult problems, for the most intricate problems. Today, Swamiji's birthday is celebrated as a National Youth Day. And it's Indira Gandhi who declared Swamiji's birthday on 1st January as a National Youth Day is being celebrated all across the country. But in the Ramakrishna order, the best way to serve is to do some Narayan Seva. We feed, as I'm a devotee of the Ramakrishna order, we feed the poorest the poor, the deprived ones, the have not ones. We go in search of people, those who need to be fed. Feed them with your own hands. Give them clothes, give them shelter. And that sense of service that is called Narayan Seva. The God is an embodiment, each human being is an embodiment of God. All living beings are an embodiment of God. His birthday is celebrated as Narayan Seva in all monasteries across the globe. Swamiji set up so many Advaita Ashram, so many uh, Ramakrishna missions there with very learned people because let me tell you, at the very entry level in Ramakrishna order you need to be minimum graduate. They don't entertain and people who are jobless, people who are dejected in life, they are hopeless, and they brood a lot of negativity in them. Swamiji picked up the best and the brightest of brains, a minimum graduate. If you want to be a monk in Ramakrishna order, your minimum qualification has to be graduate. If you want to be head of the center of the Ramakrishna order, you have essentially to be a postgraduate. Because they should be able to reason it out as to why are they joining this monastic order and what objective shall they serve? How will they serve humanity? How can they bring oneness of God in all living beings? So what I am suggesting is it being the National Youth Day is not just the government but the voluntary organizations and as was referred to, the first, the founder of Rashtra Sevak Sang, RSS, Guru Gulwakar also started his career, and another one, Ranade. If you are part of the Vivek and the Block, so much of money was mobilized by just one man, Ranade. He moved from one state to another, and charities came in lakhs and lakhs and today Swamiji's rock in Kanyakumari Cape Komorin is stands as an embodiment of peace. Across the shores, message of peace is being spread. Thousands and thousands of people are being inspired. 
and that gives you strength. The Swamiji said, I want you to have muscles of iron, nerves of steel, inside which dwells the mind of the same material as that of which a thunderbolt is made. You will be nearer to heaven through the kick of a football than through the preaching of Bhagavad Gita. That's, Swamiji addressed, that's what Swamiji is addressed to the youth. He never wanted any, any Indian to be idle. We should incessantly working, constantly working for the good of all, for the wellness of all. He shunned hatred. He shunned violence. He preached only love and beget love. They get respect for each other. Let's not live for ourselves. As he said, Atmano Mokshartam Jagat Hilaya You don't live for yourself. You also live for the salvation of others. Raise their level. That is what Swamiji preached. Today we are celebrating his birthday. I am just, I, I am just contemplating as to what two most important events occurred in the last year. In the year 2014, my two biggest finds are that we have a very strong alumni association. Let me congratulate all those who were involved in the alumni meet. It was a resounding success. I am proud of it because we have a very rich alumni base. And that's what shows that how much hard work would have gone into. And it's all through the contribution of all our faculty members and each one of you working here, we could create a very strong alumni base. My second most valuable find was Professor I. M. Pandey, who is a great scholar and a man of great wisdom. His having agreed to be the director of WIPS is a matter of great pride for all of us. And on Swamiji's birthday, I can tell you, you will have it this century, next century will be belonging to Vivekananda Institute of Krishna. <laughs> I've never seen him shouting at anyone for one. We always have a very peaceful disposition. A very quiet man, but a man with a great, a futuristic vision. He is endowed with a futuristic vision. It is he who is going to shape this institution. And the day is not far when we will come to execute the progress study will be declared as a university. And this will be not a run of the mill universities, not be an average university. We shall not imitate others, but we shall originate something of our own. And that will come through labor of all of us, each one of us. Uh, what pained me in 2014 was that many of us find ways and means and evolve too many techniques how to proceed on leave. Unprecedented leave by my faculty members has been a matter of concern for me and my heart beats for it. Can we curtail holidays? Can we add some more days? Can we add some more hours to for, 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 for the students, those who try and execute with so much of faith and Devotion. I tell you, in Vivekananda Institute, it should be one of the model. And as Swamiji inspired me at Mayavati in Himalayas, he said, remember one thing, Swamiji's wives shall remain for 5,000 5, years. His preachings, his thought shall survive, shall live for another 500 years, minimum 500 years. All of you are blessed that you are studying and working for the cause that Swamiji held too close to his heart. Swamiji, just what he said in one of his quotes, he said, 
I love you all ever so much. I love you all ever so much that I want you to die working for others. I love you all ever so much that I wish you to die working for others. What a love, what a unique love. Can all of you dedicate yourself to the ideas of Swamiji, his philosophy, that universality, can you bring that universal thought? Let's not live from our limited self. How many research papers? How much of what contribution have we made towards nation building? Which Swamiji said, man making, character building, nation building. We do often write it, but let it not remain words. Let it be transformed into action. Man making, character building, nation building. Every third day, we are hearing of violence against women. The Swamiji preached that they are all embodiments of our sisters and mothers. Let's worship them as our sisters and as, as the Shakti. They are the force behind every success. They are the inspiration. So much of violence against women. Heartless, heartless people. How can this, how can we become the Institute of, the Institute of Progression at least remain silent on such ghastly crimes, heinous crimes? With all of us here, with a student strength of 4,000, 4,000 students, so no less, let's all be a messenger of that message that Swamiji gave to us. Let's work for this nation. Let's give, give up our lives for, for this nation. Let's live up to the expectations of Swamiji's thought, his philosophy, his love, his affection, everything. <coughs> Please don't take Swamiji's words lightly. He observes you. And Vedanta Institute cannot remain an ordinary institute. We have to raise its level. Though we have in the last 15 years of our existence, we have won 15 gold medals, university gold medals. But that's no reason for us to rest on our laurels and say, hey, we have got enough. 15 gold medals, it's too good. Many of those students were bright, intellectually very honest, sincere, hardworking, dedicated. It could be because of their own, they, they earned the medals. And some of those, our school, our faculty may have contributed. But remember one thing, we have to excel not only in Delhi, but we have to excel not only in India, but even across the shores of India. Let this name be taken with respect. Let them, and I tell you, I university, they know that we are very sincere when we carry out a job. They know nobody, no injustice can take place here. By now, in the year, year 2014, we are not being just and fair to our students. I am a true spectator the Lord. It has been my weakness or somebody's weakness, but this is a moment of introspection. It's a moment when we revive our resolve to work for the equipment of the standard, standard of education. Let's do our very best to see that our students, when they go to the industry or when they go outside, when they get a job or when they are employed somewhere, when they start their own ventures, they should find it easy to establish themselves there. And the credibility should be so high that they should be acceptable to one and all. That's what an institution building should be. Right. On Swami's birthday, I say, I am reminded of his another quote. Each one of you is potentially divine. Each one of you is potentially divine. You have to manifest the divinity within. You don't need to go anywhere. You need to look within. Each soul is potentially divine. You have to manifest the divinity within by controlling nature. External as well as internal. 
There are so many distractions. Please guess. Focused. Each soul is potentially divine. You have to manifest the divinity within by controlling nature, external as well as internal. You may do it by work, worship, psychic control, or by philosophy, maybe by more than one. But you have to be free. And how do you liberate yourself from the pangs of poverty, hunger, or scarce, scarcity? People don't get good packages, people don't get good offers. Then they blame the institution. Please blame yourself because you too have not been devoted and dedicated to your studies. You are all fundamental children. And I request my very respected faculty members. Please give me your extra time. Please put an extra step forward in the direction of creating excellence. I'm really good today and yesterday I thought, what do I do? Tomorrow is Swamiji's birthday. What Narayan Seva can I do? I brought some sweet sweets for you. Maybe you get one piece, maybe you get two pieces. But that part of the piece, that, that part of the sweet will carry a profound message for me. I, I just can't say that whatever I do, I am always reminded by his ideals. I am always inspired by his thought. I am always, every step that I move, I move my step with the way that he's always with me, he's, he has blessed me. It was not possible for me to raise this. When I first started in year 2000, I sold my own ancestral home to start with the Institute of Professional Studies. At the inspiration of Swami Jitakanandji, he said, can't we raise one good educational institution in the name of, the name of Swami Vivekananda, whom more than half the world worships? And I, I, and I disposed of my ancestral home. I said, it's better to live without a home rather than creating mansions. Let me create one institution which should bring name to I mean, it should give you respectability. And the Swamiji, the Institute of, uh, welcome the Institute of Public Studies of Oman. When Swamiji gave, gave me this idea, can't we to get us start this? I said, Swamiji, I need only your blessings. The rest of the resources will be mobilized. And since the year 2000, we have never looked back. We have now nine, ten new courses. We have got become owners. We have got BB banking insurance. We have got PGDBM, which is uh, now so famous with uh, Derek Jan having joined here. I'm finding a complete change. We have to work, 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 and work incessantly to see that we become the issue of our studies, lives up to its ideals, and lives up, up to its name. Please devote more time to your students. Take up, take away a little bit of your own personal time and spend with these students to make them worthwhile. Let them not become a liability to, to the nation. You owe something to the nation. And Swamiji was a great patriot. He was a great nationalist. So let's live for a great cause on Swamiji's birthday. And I was not supposed to because I become very emotional when I talk to Swamiji. Because he walks and talks with me. He's just not a, 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 a picture on my right and left. He's more than that. You have to live his precepts. You just don't have to preach his precepts, but you have to live his precepts. His precepts. That eternal lamp which burns in the management room will remain always lit. It will spread more of knowledge. Despair more of ignorance. And each one of us has to take a resolve that we take upon ourselves the responsibility, the mission, the resolution we take today that we will work for the upliftment of India, this great nation. Let's all contribute our little mind to it in giving this institute a great name. 
And thank you very much indeed for, uh, because many times I, I feel like breaking down because Swamiji is too dear. Have you ever been to Ramakrishna Mission in the, uh, in Pashkiro? How many of you have been to the Ramakrishna order? Particularly the Aarti time, you know, when evening prayers are offered. There's a moving spectacle. Thakur almost talks to you. And he, once you get addicted to Swamiji's thought, read his complete verse on Swamiji. It is in eight volumes. If you want, either, any one of you is keen to read it, I can donate it to you. But read his complete, complete verse in eight volumes, and thereafter you will have perhaps no doubt. Your, all your doubts will be removed, and you will really become a completely transformed human being. So, I pay my regards, pay my homage to Swamiji, and we expect that he lends strength to our arms, and we assured him that he will not be let down on any count. Thank you very much.